In the two months since the military staged the coup, over 600 innocent civilians, including women and children, have been killed. That is only the confirmed number. The real toll could be higher. As unarmed protesters are attacked with live ammunition, hatred against the hunters' armed forces grows every day among the population. That is why many, especially young people, are hoping for a federal army to emerge. Among them is Captain Tom Yao, who is standing on the people's side after joining the civil disobedience movement. Before defecting, the captain was a platoon commander of the 77th Light Infantry Division, which is notorious for its brutal murders of innocent protesters. He witnessed life ammunition being used in the crackdown against protesters in Yango and left the military in early March to side with the public. A federal army is badly needed and essential to fight against the illegitimate military that took power, he tells Mima now. <laughs> In order to fight this illegitimate coup government, it won't be possible to win just with an unarmed public. The federal army must happen. As well as those who want a federal army to emerge, there are also people who are willing to join and serve. Among those interviewed by Myanmar Now is a police officer who joined the CDM to define the Honta. He says he is ready to serve for the people if a federal army is formed. As a police officer who completely supports CRPH, I will value the people's wishes. I will proceed with the people's hopes and continue to define the Honda. If CRPH forms a federal army, I would like to say I will fight alongside the public. CRPH spokesperson Yi Mon, also known as Mountain Thit, recently told Myma Now that CRPH was in the process of forming a federal army. The military is supposed to protect the people. This military has not only failed to do so, but is also harming the people. A military that is brutally and recklessly shooting and killing the people. It's the utmost importance of the country to reform the Myanmar military. This reform must be done. The government we're appointing soon is the legal government, formed with the mandate, and I believe the new government has a duty to implement this security sector reform. That is why we need an army that values the people and federalism as soon as possible. And we are pushing for that. Myanmar's people have been protesting against the haunter with whatever means they have. And acts of resistance have continued doggedly even in the face of military's mass killings. The phrase, the army is broken, has become a common refrain. Captain Tom Yao says the military has been dysfunctional for a long time. The army has been dysfunctional since before the coup. It's not just now. It operates as a dictatorship. They didn't adapt to democracy in the last five years. One can only describe it as a form of monarchy. They'll do anything to be promoted. They're scared of their higher ranks, and they want to get those high ranks. To become a high-ranking officer, you are evaluated on three skills – combat, administration, and recruitment. Combat skills, you're only good at it if you go to war and fight. Soldiers that aren't from the infantry battalions are usually not even considered. If you can manage and discipline soldiers below you, then you're good at administration. The next thing is recruiting. This is internal and external. What really shows your skill as a recruiter is external recruitment. It's about getting new recruits and how many you can get. You could say that the first two skills are not as important as this one. Recruitment is something you can prove quickly and have the most control over. 
Let's say you enter as a lieutenant. If you want to become a commander, you must be able to show how many new soldiers you can recruit. And that's not sustainable in the long run. It's quite rare for them to do the recruiting themselves. Instead, they start paying others to do it. Well, I have to say it now. It's like buying slaves, the way it works. It has been going on for a long time. That's why I say the military has been desperate for a while. Another common refrain, especially among young people facing the military's murderous crackdowns, it abolished the fascist army. Captain Tomiao says that in addition to abolishing the army, the public must abolish extreme nationalistic and religious views. Fascism, as I understand it, is seeing people who are not of your nationality or religious background as enemies, contributing to segregation. That's how I see it. Especially with the Rohingya crisis, one must ask, the entire country does not accept them just because they are from a different religious and ethnic background? So this goes for the people as well. The military is fascist because it is derived from the fascist Japanese army from World War II. It's a fascist army, that's nothing new. So the fascist military needs to be abolished. The majority of the people in the military have been brainwashed with years of nationalistic and religious propaganda and will not be sympathetic towards the hundreds of innocent civilians being killed or the thousands arrested, including Dong Sansuji and President Wimyet, the captain says. <laughs>